Okay, um, this is the latest update on the oscilloscope. I have the top back on. I have two bolts sticking out the side, one marked positive, one negative. And I added that potentiometer right there. Um, it was mounted on the board, um, but I pulled it off and put some wires in place and brought it out because it helps for adjusting the um, screen. But anyway, this is the oscilloscope I made out of a Bentley TV. Not really good for anything, seeing how they uh, uh, did away with all the analog uh, TV, so um, everything's digital now. Um, I mean, I, I, I put that adapter on, uh, on there right there to uh, be able to hook the cable line into it and watch TV that way, but... Uh, not really, it's a black and white TV, so this is way better use out of it than a TV. But anyway, um, right now, the, the um, uh, wave you're looking at is a square wave being generated by this uh, Arduino Uno. Um, I built the wave, it's a, um, it goes high for one thousandth of a second. Uh, then low for two thousandths, then high for three thousandths, then low for four thousandths, then high for five thousandths, and then low for two thousandths. And if you look, I can point them out to you. Um, hold on. High for one thousandths, low for two, so we'll get back to it. So high, double that load. Uh, add one is, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, two. And that's that. There's the knobs on here you can use to um, adjust it. You can kind of find part the part of the wave you're wanting to look at, you know, kind of even stop on it. And uh, then there's another one for when you, if you get like a bigger wave, um, you can zoom back you could, uh, that's for smaller waves, crunch it up, um, I can make it smaller, it does take off part of the screen, in fact I'm not sure it does any good once you get off the screen, I don't think so, but anyway, uh, that's really fast forward, really tightly compact. But that is the wave right there. Um, you can see that is the. I, like I said, this this looks really crisp. Uh, for some reason, the camera throws it off. But these lines are very fine, very crisp. Uh, for some reason, there's a glowing on the screen on the on the camera screen I'm looking at right here. With my naked eye, it, this looks beautiful. It really does. And uh, you can adjust brightness and whatnot. So I mean, I can get it like that for you. But uh, anyway, um, one thing I have hooked up, which you can't really tell, I'll, I'll let me turn the volume down first because I got it on max. But I got a radio hooked up. I did have another. Once you plug the thing in, you, it loses the sound. But I did have another radio so I could listen to what was going on. But uh, you can even do it with this wave still going into it. But uh, we can hook it up and that's the wave coming in from the radio. I can pull one of these off. That's no wave at all. That's zero voltage. Um, but that's the radio. Um, this would look much cooler if I could, if, um, right now, the output of this is very low. If I tapped right off the back of the speaker, it, you, it would be more, more of a wave versus what you're seeing there with, it's so tightly compacted. Um, get these. There, that's better. I can't really do a whole lot with the adjustment on here. I mean, I can. It'll affect it, but it doesn't really do much as far as making it any more viewable. But it's pretty cool. Like if you could listen to it, it does go with the music quite well. But unfortunately, I have too much stuff plugged in. I can't plug in that radio. I'd have to unplug the lamp. But uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, yep, uh, I bought that uh, TV for two dollars at Goodwill in Lancaster. It the 
input here where the plug is was uh, um, broken and I had to replace it and once I did that it worked fine and then I, I wanted to see if the TV worked, all it was was static. I hooked that up and sure enough it worked. And then I'm like, uh, well, I don't really want a, you know, a five inch black and white TV. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, decided to make a, a oscilloscope out of it. It's pretty cool though. Something that would normally cost hundreds of dollars. Now, you know, really, really cheap. And, uh, this TV will take batteries, D batteries. Um, so, it's even cooler than... Most oscilloscopes, you can't really grab it and pull it around, but yep, that is the wave and run off their code. Um, I don't think I have time, but I could try to show you what it would be like if I did one thousandth of a second. Going off. I'm trying to get the code uploaded real quick. I'm running out of time. Okay, upload, and you might only get to see this for a second, but um, let me get ready to tune it, because I know it's going to need it. Come on. There we go. It's really bright on here, I don't know why. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to retune it now. I did that. But that's a thousandth of a second off, on, off, on. Um, I could hook it up backwards and you could see it negative. It would actually just go below the center line is all that would happen. See now it's on the bottom side of the screen. That's because it's negative. Um, so it just it's pulling the electrons down is all it's doing. But I hope you like it.